In this week's Real Science, we visit a Coppell Elementary School. We know that second graders are acute, but they're also smart as they learn about the science of weather. Show me what cumulonimbus clouds look like. Walking down the halls at River Chase Elementary, cumulonimbus. You might hear Sarah Day's second graders making a bunch of noise. Ooh, Caleb's got his thunderstorm face. All in the name of science. And what can we do to show a precipitation? These Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD <laughs> students are in the middle of a weather lesson using a fun game to learn their clouds. Stratus. Cumulus. Cumulonimbus. Stratus. Cirrus. Oh, man. Y'all are too good. It's a good way to make them get energy out and actually get out of their seats, but also actually learn. They're connecting what they're learning and actually remembering it because of the excitement that they had. So you're kind of a teacher choreographer. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Ms. Day thinks it's important for a class to get up out of the seat and move around. Also today, using shaving cream to learn more about the weather. Whoa! Turns out shaving cream makes a good cloud. Ooh. There it's coming, Emily. Push hard. So right now, you have water, and at the top there are clouds. But we have to pretend that this water is air. The blue food coloring represents water inside of the clouds. Add more food coloring and... Oh my God, this is so creepy. You get rain. It's all over the ground. Look at we got a flood. Ms. Day's passion for science is shared with her students. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, Meteorologist. You do? I want to be a scientist when I grow up. Maybe a chemist, maybe a geologist, maybe, maybe someone who studies geology. I don't know. So you have big dreams? Yeah. They have great personalities. They're always really excited. They love coming to school. They are just, they get to be, you get to be silly with them and do fun, fun things with them, and they really enjoy it.